Let's graph the linear equation x plus 2y equals 3. And we use slope intercept form to do that. So what we need to do is rearrange the equation x plus 2y equals 3 so that we have y all by itself. Why don't we subtract x from both sides? That'll give us, and then since we have the x first here in slope intercept form, let's switch these two here. So now we have it in slope intercept form, almost, because we have 2y. So we actually have to divide both sides by 2. That'll get y by itself. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so 1y, that's just y. And then we have negative x over 2 plus we have 3 over 2. So now we have it in slope intercept form. So our y intercept, that's at 3 over 2. That's equal to 1 and a half. So we go to the y axis, we go to 1 and a half, and that's the y intercept. That's where we'll cross the y axis. We go to this point, and now instead of just negative x, let's call it negative 1x. It's still negative x, but now we have this negative 1. We can call that rise, and the 2, we can call that run. So we go to our point, we're going to rise negative 1 and run 2. So when we say negative 1, if we're rising 1, we go up. If at negative 1, we're going to go down 1 and then run. That means move to the right, 1, 2. Let's do it again from this point here. We rise negative 1, so we go down 1, and then we run 1, 2 to the right. You can see we have a line here. Let's put a line through it. And then we can put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for x plus 2y equals 3. You could also use a table of values to graph x plus 2y equals 3, and you'd end up with this very same graph here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.